Welcome back to BCU Freshman Class Series, where we'll be teaching you the most important building blocks of ham radio. This freshman series is for those just getting into the hobby who might not know where to begin. In these videos, we'll cover broad topics and terms that you can understand, so you can start your ham radio journey on a stable foundation. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more instructional content like this. We really appreciate it. The time has finally arrived. You're ready to get on the air, but there's one final hurdle, the ham radio license test. You might be wondering why you even need a license in the first place. It's a good question, but here's the answer. Getting a ham radio license is a great way to educate yourself on all the ins and outs of amateur radio, from knowing the tech to following the etiquette. Look at it this way. Having a license is proof that you really know what you're talking about and have the chops to back it up. Not that you have anything to prove, but hey, people respect the badge. Time to get into it. How do you qualify for the exam? To qualify for an amateur radio license, you'll need a valid US mailing address. This could either be your home address or a PO box in case you'd rather keep some distance. You'll also need a valid taxpayer identification number like a social security number or FCC registration number, also known as an FRN. So once you've met the requirements, which license do you apply for? For those who don't have a license at all, you'll want to get your technician license first. The technician license is the first level license which gives you basic access to VHF and UHF as well as a few other bands. It's perfect for the casual amateur radio operator looking to connect and chat with other hands. The next level is the general class license. Applying for this license is an excellent option if you want to get more into HF radio. It opens up the spectrum from a small portion of the 10 meter band to almost all of the bands minus a few spectrums that are limited to the extra class. This is great if you want to make long distance contacts with only your radio and no internet required. It's also great for emergency communications. If you'd like to learn more about the topic, we have a video on it, link in the description. Finally, there's the extra license, the highest class offered by the FCC. So why would you want an amateur extra license? Well, because it gives you access to all frequencies allocated to the amateur service, including additional HF frequencies that were previously unavailable for a technician or general license. So now you know which test to take, but where do you go to take it? You have several options. The first way to take the test is by simply doing it online. You can choose from a long list of options on the ARRL website, link in the description. You can also take the test in person. You can search for areas near you to take the test by visiting the ARRL website and providing your postal code. When attending an in-person exam, you will want to bring at least two forms of identification, including at least one photo ID. A driver's license or employer identification card will work just fine. You will also need your social security number. Aside from bringing the IDs, bring a couple of pencils, a calculator, and some scratch paper. Just make sure it's blank. The exam will take somewhere between 15 minutes and an hour to complete, though if you're shooting for the extra class license, it could take longer. Thankfully, there's no time limit, so there's no need to stress about finishing in time. Once you passed your exam, congratulations, you're finally ready to hit the airwaves. Regardless of whether you become a technician or achieved an extra license, it's an accomplishment to be proud of, one that's recognized by the ham community at large. We hope this guide was helpful in getting you there. For more questions about amateur radio, give us a call at 816-532-8451 and we'll be happy to help get you on the air as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG73.